Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. In today's video, we are kind of getting it all done in the kitchen. We're restocking, we're getting ready for my sister's birthday party, which I volunteered to make some treats for, and we are cleaning up in the process. I really hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get into it. So we are starting off by just kind of restocking some of the essentials around our kitchen. On this day, I went to the grocery store with the kids, which was a little stressful, but I managed. And we just kind of picked up some fruit, some eggs, some butter, as well as some other ingredients that I needed to make my sister's birthday cake, which I volunteered to do since I am kind of the biggest baker in my family. It's something that I enjoy. And I really wanted my sister to have a good birthday and not have to worry about like making anything herself. So I figured I would just kind of volunteer to do that. I'd like to thank Homecore for sponsoring this portion of today's video and sending us this four pack water bottle organizer. The four pieces came nicely packed and were very sturdy. They stack on one another and can be used in cabinets or the fridge to better organize your space. I broke out a variety of cups of different shapes and sizes to see how well they fit in the organizer. And of all the cups I tested, my mason jar was the only one that didn't fit in any of the lower levels of the organizer. It only fit on the top shelf. But other than that, all of my different size cups fit nicely. I will place the link to this product down below in the description box if you want to get one of these four pack water bottle organizers for yourself or a loved one. In my case, I'm actually gifting this to my sister for her birthday since I got rid of a lot of my cups when we moved, and I know that my sister loves to collect tumblers. So we are going to go ahead and wrap this up for her. I'm actually recording this voiceover the night of her party, and I'm so happy to say that she seemed to love her gift. Within minutes of opening her gift, she was already organizing her cups in her cupboard, which really made my heart happy. So again, I'd like to thank Homecore for sponsoring this portion of today's video, and blessing my sister on her birthday. So we are going to move on and make some chocolate chip cookies for my sister's birthday party. Like I said, I'm kind of just the baker in the family. This is actually really therapeutic for me as well. So I really didn't mind doing this. And I kind of ran out of my little secret stash in the freezer. So I definitely wanted to make some more. I do have a video where I just share the straight recipe for this thing. It's only a couple minutes long. And it's kind of a good thing I have it because my camera cut out as I was filming so it kind of missed a lot of the steps. But if these cookies seem like something that you would like to make, you can go ahead and check out that video. I will link it up above. So typically I like to make these cookies using my ice cream scoop so that they're really nice and large and you really just need to eat one to feel fully satisfied and get that craving satisfied. But for the party, I did think that it would be better to make some smaller ones, especially since there's going to be kids there. So I just made a couple of the larger cookies and then the rest I made smaller for the party. Thank you. 
After I was done baking, I gave our little counter a wipe down and went to bed. <laughs> the next day, I decided to make her birthday cake. We were expecting about 30 people at the party, so I figured a double batch would be good enough. And this cake is super easy to make and everyone loved it. It's called Better Than Sex Cake. Around the kids, we call it the Better Than Anything Cake. And it is a German chocolate cake. We just used the box cake and I followed my sister's recipe for this because it was her birthday and this is the way that she likes it. I was a little tempted to make everything from scratch, but this made my life a whole lot easier. So to start, we're just gonna be making our German chocolate cake according to the instructions on the box. And like I said before, I will be doing a double batch. I have made German chocolate cake from scratch before on my channel, so if you are looking for a recipe for that, I will go ahead and link that video up above as well. So after about 30 minutes, I took out my cakes and the first one that I poked wasn't quite done. It went in for another five minutes, but this cake was fully cooked for some reason. It cooked quicker than the other one. So what we are gonna be doing is poking holes on top of the entire cake. This kind of reminded me of the Tres Leches cake that I pre made in a previous video. So if you want, you can go ahead and check that video out. I will link that up above as well. But after we're done poking all of the holes on top of the cake, we're gonna pour some sweetened condensed milk, just an entire can, and really let this soak into the cake. How about you coming closer? We can do my place. Maybe we can try. Beating up by seven, you'll be saying, oh, I saw it's guaranteed. I'll be forever thinking about you and me. Once you have poured your sweetened condensed milk, we are going to heat up a jar of Hershey's hot fudge just so that it gets, you know, a little bit easier to spread and pour one jar on top of each cake. This is going to soak in really nicely to the cake and give it a really rich chocolate flavor. I just can't let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one. No one likes being like to You made this mess and left me with the peace once your hot fudge has been spread on, we're gonna let the cakes cool and then chill in the fridge before we put on our final layer. So while the cakes were chilling, my family and I actually went out to eat. And when we got back, I decided to clean up our kitchen and living space before finishing up the cakes. I've 
As I was working, Jack made his way out and crawled to me, so I figured I would go ahead and finally put him down for the night, and then we will be getting back to work. I think I've mentioned this in the past. I really love like vacuum mopping our floors. It is very therapeutic to me. And I just love like seeing the water lines like slowly evaporate, especially in a time lapse, which sometimes I include in my videos. Let me know down below if that is something you guys enjoy watching. And if not, I will, you know, cut it out. I won't show any more time lapse videos of the water drying on my floor. Personally, I enjoy it, but I don't know about you guys, so let me know down below in the comments. So the last thing we are doing in terms of cleaning up is just giving my sink a good scrub. I'm just using some baking soda and some dish soap and my little like brush cleaner thing. And we're just giving this a good scrub to get all of the little grossness off of that and just starting fresh for the upcoming week. So now that everything has been like totally cleaned and the cakes were chilled, I figured I would finally like assemble the cakes. So we're gonna be using eight ounces of Cool Whip or you know whipped cream or whatever. Um, I use the Walmart brand and putting eight ounces on each cake. So I just got a 16 ounce tub and split it in half. And then once the cakes have been covered in the Cool Whip or whipped cream frosting, we're gonna put some crushed Heath bars on top. These were kind of hard to find, at least from the stores around me. I was prepared to like just buy Heath bars and crumble them up myself, but Juan was successful in finding some packs. So you're just going to use one pack on top of each cake. Like I mentioned before, this kind of gave me like a Tres Leches like feel, but like a chocolate version. Everyone loved the cake. My sister was obviously very happy. This is her favorite cake. And I followed her recipe, which you can screenshot here for your convenience. This is her beautiful writing and uh, the recipe that she has shared with me. I would like to thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below if you try this recipe and don't forget to like and subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, 
That may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.